Jay Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. So this morning behind me is a 2022 Cimarron Lone Star Air Ride Trailer. This is a actual like a customer ordered trailer, but it's so unique, got a lot of options on it. We want to show you all those so you can see some of the different things we can do if you're thinking about building something or thinking about your next trailer itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drawing so you can kind of see some of the specs first and foremost. So it's 26 foot on the floor, we're 6 foot tall, and we're 8 foot wide. This is a dirty tack setup, so we don't have a traditional tack room on this trailer itself, but I'll walk you through some of that here in a little bit. But let's take a look at this trailer, because again, it's got a lot of stuff, so bear with us. I'm going to point out a lot of options. First and foremost, underneath the gooseneck here, we got a lot going on underneath here. First thing you'll notice is an electric over hydraulic jack, single leg. It's really cool because you can just reach up here, touch a button. Uh, if you have a lot of tack on this trailer with some weight, usually you know you have your cattle off of this when you're loading and unloading. If, if you're having to uh, take this off the truck itself, but maybe you want to leave some tack on there where we have some weight. Instead of hand cranking, it's real nice and easy to push a button uh, up and down the trailer goes itself. We do have a manual override on this as well. So if I get in an emergency situation, I can get this trailer on or off the truck. To the right of that, you'll notice these brackets that come out from underneath the bottom of the trailer. This is for a portable generator. So the customer can set a portable gen here, strap it down, run our 30 amp breaker our cord right up there to the breaker box that I'll show you on the inside, but we have power in this trailer itself. You'll notice these vents, we have them open, they're on a gas shock. If you want some added airflow going into the trailer, you can open those or you can close them. Obviously, you know, when you're getting into some weather, it's going to kick some stuff up, so it'd be a good time to go ahead and shut those. Over on the left hand side of the spare tire is going to be the Dexter air ride compressor itself. It's all self-contained. It's real easy to use. On off, lower raise, you see the gauge there. When you are driving this trailer, when you're pulling this trailer anywhere, have it on and have it in the raised position. You have air ride, you paid for it, use it. When you go to put it away, you turn it off, you roll it to the lower position, and then you clear our line. Because what happens is, is air can create condensation, which can freeze and crack. Then we have an air leak issue. Then we have to get that addressed. But if you turn it off, lower it, and clear that every time you put this trailer away, you're set and you'll be good. He also wanted a light underneath this gooseneck. Typically your light in, on the back of your cab is actually blocked by the front of the trailer. So this light works as just kind of lighting all this up back here, operating your actual air ride. Maybe you need to take the spare off. Maybe you need to mess with the jack somehow, messing with your generator. You have some light coverage back here. Switch is right over here by the actual controls for the hydraulic jack itself. And then we have a battery disconnect up there as well. So if we need to go ahead and kill all power to this trailer, I just reach up here and turn that off. So like I mentioned, dirty tack setup. Dirty tack setups are, again, maybe we don't have that traditional solid partition wall there. This one here, we shifted the ramp back. We put the escape door ahead of it because maybe here we've got tack loaded. Maybe you've got some parts as far as maybe a ramp, a bottle jack, a star if you need to change a spare tire, any you know anything as far as that's concerned, maybe that's located right here. So it's really easy to hop in and out using it as more of a traditional tack room, but without that solid partition. So here's our side ramp. So traditionally and, and standard, it's a 48 inch. This one here, we went with a 60. So he wanted a wider side ramp going into this stall area right here. Now, as we get into the stall area, one of the, the upgrades he did was he didn't want to be able and mess with pulling mats and cleaning this trailer out. So he went with worm flooring. So it's a permanent, unpenetrable rubber matting, real simple to clean out. Again, we don't have to worry about urine getting down to the floor itself. If you're going to clean this trailer out, I would nose it up a little bit, hop in through the escape door with the power washer and just power wash this trailer out itself. Two traveling gates. 
They're identical. No threshold with a slider. He opted for these upright jail bars compared to our traditional where we have the air gaps. It almost matched the outside of the trailer itself. That's a unique one. We do this a lot on our horse trailers, on our dividers, these air flows. You know, maybe we get a little bit more air through the trailer itself, but boy, having no threshold there is really nice for the cattle. They don't have to step over anything. But now with this gate, I can set it. We have some upright posts here. We can set it every foot. It's real easy to come up with our equipment up the side ramp, bring it in, put it in that location, roll the gate up. Maybe I roll it back a little bit, depending on what you're carrying. But these two traveling gates give you so much flexibility on what you want to do with your stall area. Maybe you want to separate a cow-calf pair from a bull. Maybe you want a bull separated from maybe some younger bulls that you're carrying with you as well. Some heifers, anything like that, you have complete flexibility. We can shove this one up ahead of that escape door. So then I can have two stalls. I can roll this one back, then I have three. Again, you have complete flexibility on this itself. So it's kind of come up here to the front, up to this gooseneck area. I'm going to set this down here enclosed with the door so it's sealed off so everything can stay nice and clean up here if you're traveling. We got quite a few items in here as well. We have a plexiglass tray to the right. That way if you do take the plexiglass out, it stores, it's somewhere nice and safe. We have a battery box itself, that's where the battery is located. Breaker box, again, we have, 30, we have 30 amp power coming in, so we have outlets. There's actually an outlet right up here on the front. And then we've incorporated some on the top rail that I'll show you as well. But I want to also want you to notice is this neck here is lined. And the reason why is this is stainless. We'll give you a good shot of this trailer when we get you out. With that stainless steel, it's a really sharp looking trailer, but you need to line the inside of these because if something hits that sheeting from the inside, it's glaring on the outside. So we actually go in and line these. That way, if something like that happens, again, it's not gonna be an eyesore for you. So let's keep working through this because again, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Like I mentioned, there's some outlets here in the top rail. That way, if he wants to, maybe he's actually fitting off of this trailer, he wants to run a blower, maybe he wants to run some clippers, maybe he wants to have a fan going, you can do that in this trailer itself because you have that power. In fact, one of the other things he did was he pre-framed and pre-wired for an AC unit. We'll get this secure out of the way, but we don't want to lose it in that rail. But when he opts to, everything's right there for him. In fact, it's already put in the breaker. It's off right now, obviously, because we have a wire <laughs> exposed, but it's really easy to do in case he wants to add that, that air conditioner. So let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, we understand the need and want for an air conditioner in here, but this insulated roof that's come standard on every single Cimarron really helps. When we're dealing with all aluminum trailers out there, you know, everyone else on the market out there has an aluminum sheeted roof. That will get substantially hotter compared to this insulated roof, about 20% cooler. And we've done some testing here on the lot. It is definitely a game changer. We're including air ride and then that insulated roof keeping the animals nice and cool. If you see us at shows, you know, a lot of times they put us on asphalt. It's 95 degrees, it's middle of the summer. We might have an easy up tent. It's cooler in the trailer. You'll see us in the afternoon actually sitting in here because that roof does make a massive difference. So as you can see, we've got some roof vents as well so we can manipulate airflow throughout this trailer, keeping the cattle cool. Maybe in the, in the winter months, you know, as body temperatures start warming up and that hot air rises, we can actually release them to the back to get that hot air away from the cattle themselves. And then we've got our second gate here. These traveling gates are phenomenal from the standpoint of being able to, again, manipulate your stall sizes all you want. They come off this top rail itself, so they're real easy to use, rolling them back and forth. You've got LED lights in here, so they're staggered throughout the trailer, so you get a lot of light coverage. Tie rails, high and low. So again, as you're traveling, maybe you want to tie them down. Maybe you're getting ready for a show, you want to tie them up in here, out of the elements, anything like that, you can do it. But again, a really cool setup in here that, that the customer did. And we'll show you a few more things here. 
before we kind of get away from this area because there's again a lot going on you'll notice two 16 inch awning lights you know one above this escape door one kind of staggered back a little bit from the ramp not directly over the ramp uh, just so you have a little bit more light coverage away from it as well because both of these will shoot down and out here's another outlet right here so it's covered maybe he does want to set that fan out here maybe we have a chute set up again we're showing off the trailer we've got power right here itself then we have upper tie rails and lower tie rails as well so maybe we're tying out from this trailer. Again, you've got that flexibility to do that. Lower air vents with the aluminum fold down slats. So instead of having the traditional plexiglass down here, that's one more set of plexiglass to use. More than likely, this is gonna be the air gap you're gonna open and close the majority of the time. Real simple to do. Maybe leave in the morning when it's nice and cool. And as you're driving, it warms up and you wanna get that airflow going. You can use your upper air vents to grab that air, force it down. It's going to try to find somewhere to escape that air will. Well, what's down here at this area? It's the chest floor of those cattle. So it'll keep them nice and cool, forcing that air down and out. But again, it's real easy to just run around this trailer open and closing them. So let's talk a little bit about these axles right here. Two 7,000 pound Dexter axles. Again, we have air ride on this trailer. There's also a shock kit, and these are rubber torsion axles. So if something happens to our air ride system, it sets down on these rubber torsion axles and you can get down the road to where older traditional air ride systems, you couldn't go anywhere, you were stuck. But with this, you have the ability to get down the road, get to where you need to, and get it addressed. But air ride is a game changer. Talk to anybody with these newer air ride system trailers, they will say cattle will lay down like they're in the barn. They step off the trailer fresher. We can actually cut some travel time off the front end uh, headed to a show because maybe we don't need an extra day or two to recover. You know, we're not having that jarring uh, from road from the road itself. Maybe it's bumps or rough roads, just jarring on the joints of these cattle. When they step off the trailer, they're fresher. So talk to some people with these newer air rides they'll tell you they'll never go away from them they'll always pull an air ride and then he upgraded to g-rated tires so a 14 ply tire and then also the alcoa wheels i think it really dresses this trailer up these alcoas they just feel and look a lot stouter than the spoke wheels and again they'll they'll shine up and then he wanted an inlay back here so you know he'll probably put farm name something like that on a on a vinyl sticker that'll go right in there itself So here at the back, we have a swing gate with a slider. I have this, the slider open. And on these eight foot wide trailers, this is one thing I really like because we have the ability to get this slider a little bit bigger and clear in this door frame. So we made this 36 inches wide. So if we're, again, unloading some, some you know, fat steers, we have some bread heifers. We have a bigger air gap right there for them to get on and off. And then also for button this trailer up against another trailer, we have the ability to have a little bit bigger opening if we're moving cattle you know, from one trailer to the other. And then he's got two eight inch awning lights at the back, again, shooting down and out, a lot of light coverage. You never have enough light on these trailers themselves. All the switches are right here. Everything's individually switched as well. So I have the lower air gaps open on this one. I'll go ahead and shut them. You can see just how fast and quick and easy it is to do this. But I also want to show you that he did the polished extrusion. So as you can see, it really dresses this trailer up nice. Polish, you have to watch when you're washing it. You don't want to acid wash these trailers. It will burn them, give a real smoky, kind of darker look to it and then you have to repolish them what you want to do is you want to citrus wash this citrus wash this trailer and you have one or two options <laughs> you can hand dry it or you can get in go 85 and just let it dry off now i'm not advocating you go over the speed limit or anything like that but as you're driving just the air will naturally just dry this trailer off so you don't get those water spots but he's got tie rails high and low on this trailer as well he's got another light out here and you'll also notice those button lights on the top rail. That's standard on these 22 models. 
Again, really small, but really sharp. I think it dresses the trailer up. They look really good at night. And then there's that polished stainless sheeting on the outside. As we walk to the other side of this trailer, after I give you the stock number, I'm gonna shut up the ramp so you can see how cool this trailer looks. But just for reference, if you're interested in, in building something similar to this, the stock number is 5N210898. Again, it's a 2022 Lone Star is what we went with because of this dirty tack setup. And then we added these options on like the air ride itself, the ramps, the polish, all of that. He had a trailer in mind when he called us, so it was really easy for us to, to put this together. And these ramps, even though this is a wider ramp, Cimarron does a really good job with their springs underneath here. So it's really easy to open and close these. I mean, even small kids that you might be traveling with can open and close that side ramp. But there's a good look at that stainless sheeting and that polished extrusion. Again, a sharp looking trailer. Again, a 22 Cimarron Lone Star, 26 footer. Maybe you want a 28, maybe you want a 24. Maybe it's one of 25 and three inches. They can do three inch increments on these trailers so we can really customize these for you. So again, if you're interested in this, interested in some of the other show trailers we have on order or possibly building something, give us a call. Our number is 303-684-3400. Appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.